you if you go back and look uh, and examine the, the early matches that you talked about, there's one person that I think is central to, to that, and that's Tom Keenan. Uh, Tom Keenan was uh, he was a captain and the leader of the team in '73 that I played in in, in Musgrave Park uh, that we should have won. Uh, he was coach to the '78 team uh, that won the match, and he was coach to the uh, Irish team that won the Triple Crown. He captains the first Munster team to beat a, tour, a major touring team. He actually captained the Munster team that beat Australia in Musgrave Park, 1967. That was the first Irish team ever to beat a major touring team, and that, again, appropriate that it should be Munster who had gone so close so often against touring teams. Into the scrum. English. Kiernan in the line, running up the halfway line, Kiernan's making ground, racing away, cross kicks inside, Lucy's running up to it, beautifully got by Smith, and Smith left footed for the touchline, finds it. But certainly the role of TJ himself was huge because he was, um, when you draw on the experience he did from, I don't know, as a player, and then you add to that the experience that he had gleaned with, uh, with Munster as a, as a coach, and to be involved in, in games of that intensity and magnitude, and then he was able to take that on to the next level again as an international coach. As a coach, he had colossal respect from the players, very, very, very astute. Um, his record again as a coach, coached that Munster team, the only Irish side ever to beat the All Blacks before or since, then took over Ireland, and led Ireland to a triple crown in a championship in 1982, the first triple crown we'd won since 1949. I found it very good. It's very, very incisive in what he did, what he said. He picked out the right things, and he was he, the, the, the great knack of being able to say what's, what's peripheral and what's central. And that, to me, would have been what he did. Well, I played with him. He was playing on that monster team that drew the All Blacks in 73. That was probably his last season. He was a... A good, cute hole. <laughs> he, was, he was a good tactician, I'd say. He was, uh, he was a fine, fine rugby player as well, even though he might have been a great kicker, for goal kicker. But, but um, he inspired, he inspired people around him as well, especially as a coach. Yeah, and uh, we all owe a lot to him for that success and fairness.